I've often said to my own children, we see what we look for. You ever gone into a room and you've looked for something and it wasn't where you thought it was and so you leave and then 20 minutes later you find that it was right next to something else? That's because we weren't looking for it there. Well, I feel for this mother here who says, I hate going to the dentist. So, of course, her whole attitude, the whole thing that she is looking at is that she hates going to the dentist. So, I don't think my child will like it either. Okay. Uh, why scare him at such a young age? Because we're talking about coming in so early. I'd like to reverse that around and hope that that mother can see something new from this whole program we've talked about. But I'll put that question over to you because I think I know your answer already. Why take him at such a young age? Uh, so the reason why the, uh, uh, the mother was probably scared of the dentist or hates the dentist is ex the same reason why she has to take her child to the dentist at the young age to prevent the child from hating the dentist. Right. Uh, and um, normally people who hate the dentist is because they had a bad experience. And they started uh, so late and there was a problem and we had to drill and we had to pull yes. or we had to, yes. Yeah, for okay. sure. And, and, and that's where we get those nightmare stories, right? right? Um, and, and we want to uh, teach people that uh, prevention is uh, so much easier, so much pleasant, uh, less expensive. Um, and it, it's really the way to, uh, um, prevent uh, transferring that fear uh, of the dentist to, to their ch children. So even though you had a bad experience and, and you're reluctant to go yourself, right, so you, you may uh, transfer that fear onto your kid and say, I don't want my kid to go through that, but uh, the same reason if you take your, your child on a regular basis and we detect small things and they're fixed without the needle, without numbing, without pain, it's pleasant, uh, it doesn't cost too much, and that way it, it becomes pleasant for your child. And perhaps uh, for yourself, if you can see that, you know what, if um, you're already on the good path for, for good dental health, then things are, are pretty, pretty good and they're not that bad, and perhaps you can change your own mindset about it. Um, but uh, if, let's say, you're unable to change, at least give your, your child that chance to experience the good side of dentistry, so it, it doesn't have to be negative whatsoever. Yes, let's, let's turn this completely around because I know for my daughter, um, my younger daughter, she was afraid of dogs most of her life because mom reacted to a dog once coming up when my daughter was real young. We then happened to be trick-or-treating one time. We of course cleaned her teeth very well after the trick-or-treating, uh, Dr. Long. Uh, and she met this dog from a neighbor and she just loved the dog and she loved dogs from then on. Because that woman's horizon expanded it for my daughter, she could now see how to love the dog. So I, as a dad, not as the dentist, but as the dad, plead with the mother who gave us this question to say, listen, go early on so that the good set of habits, the good horizon can be seen. So. Uh as parents, we have that power to break that legacy, so it, it doesn't have to be that way. So Let's go the good way. Absolutely, and Dr. Julia, I mean, it, it just occurs to me sitting here, and I can't help it because I'm a psychologist, that you're, there's a whole other layer to, to this whole prevention program. By, by bringing these children in with their moms early, setting all these good habits, you're actually preventing a kind of self-fulfilling prophecy about what may have been bad experiences that someone else had you know, growing up because they didn't have the kind of program offered to them that you're offering to your community where you're setting these good habits. So you're actually preventing the next generation from having you know, preconceived notions that dentistry is a painful thing that you know, I have to fear. And it, it doesn't have to be because if you have the, the tools and the knowledge and you know what to do to keep your teeth healthy, then you, you'll never have to experience um, like negative appointments at, at the dentist. Um, so you know that's why it's so important to um, to to see those children early on and um, teach those children early on that you know dentistry um, it's not scary and it doesn't have to be scary and it's fun and it's just about taking care of your teeth so that you can be healthy as well. And what's awesome about that too is that in the process of doing that you may actually break that pattern for the mom or the dad or the, uh, you know that for their bad experience because they're seeing that it doesn't have to be that way. Yes. Hopefully for them as well because the more they fear again is the, the more they will tend to neglect um, the dental health postpone, and yeah. the more they postpone then the more um, you know, complication may, right. may, may Things get more advanced by the time they come in, yeah.